The Iron Blast Furnace is a vertical shaft furnace that produces molten iron metal by the reaction of air introduced under pressure into the bottom of the furnace, two years, with a mixture of metallic ores, coke, and flux fed into the top. It is operated on counter-current principle, the charge descend in the downward direction, and the hot air, blast, ascend from two years. Blast furnace are used to produce pig iron from iron ore for subsequent processing into steel. And they're also employed in processing lead, copper and other metal. An overview of the iron making blast furnace. Foundation. It is a massive steel reinforced concrete mass partially embedded below the ground level. It should be strong enough to withstand the loaded furnace weight. A crucible shaped hearth. It is a receptacle to collect the molten metal and slag. It is lined with carbon bricks. It essentially consists of a tap hole for iron extraction and slag notch for slag removal. Bosch. This is the zone of intense heat constructed with a steel reinforcement. The top of the Bosch has the maximum diameter of the furnaces to accommodate the volume expansion of the charged materials. Two years are present at the bottom level of the Bosch. Stack. It is a frustum of a huge cone mounted on the mantle and extends to the furnace top. It is lined with fire clay. The stock line is protected from abrasion caused by the falling charge by providing armor plates on the inner surface of the lining. Two year and bustle pipe. Immediately above the hearth are located the two years. Through which hot air blast is blown for fuel combustion. Air from the hot blast stove is supplied through a huge circular pipe known as the bustle pipe and by virtue of its enormous size, equalizes the pressure of the blast of the two years. Bell and Hopper. It is a cup and cone arrangement used for charging the solid charge. Offtakes. These are four exhaust pipe connected to the furnaces top evenly at four parts. These rise vertically up above the furnace top and then join to a bigger single pipe known as downcomer, which delivers the gas cleaning system. Pig iron production. The blast furnace is a counter current gas solid reactor in which the descending materials, coke, iron ore, fluxes, additives, react with ascending hot gases. The blast furnace process is continuous with raw materials being regularly charged to the top of the furnace and molten iron and slag being tapped from the bottom of the furnace at regular intervals. The additives and fluxes is used to convert the waste or gang materials in the charge into a low melting point slag, which also dissolves the coke ash and removes sulfur. At 700 degrees Celsius, reduction of iron ore occurs. At 800 degrees Celsius carbon dioxide react with coke. At 850 degrees Celsius limestone decomposes and slag form. All these occur at the lower part of the blast furnace shaft. Between 1000 to 1500 degrees Celsius hot air react with coke. This is refers is the Bosch area where the burden starts to soften and melt. Direct reduction of the iron and other oxides and carbonization by the coke occurs. Molten iron and slag start to drip through to the bottom of the furnace. Between the Bosch and the hearth are the two years through which the blast combustion air preheated to 900-1300 degrees Celsius, often enriched with oxygen is blown into the furnace. Immediately in front of the two years is the combustion zone. The hottest part of the furnace 1850 to 2000 degrees Celsius, where coke react with oxygen and steam in the blast to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen, while the iron and slag melt completely. Molten iron and slag collect in the furnace hearth. Being less dense, the slag floats on top of the iron. Slag and iron are tapped at regular intervals through separate tap holes. At the upper part of the furnace, Free moisture is driven off from the burden materials and hydrates and carbonates are dissociated. The iron is cast into ingots. In integrated steel mills, the molten iron or hot metal is transferred in torpedo ladle cars to the steel converter. 
Slag is transferred to slag pits for further processing into usable material.